Cardi B, calling out Joe Budden. Joe Budden, a legend, well, people don't want to hear that, but he, he was a rapper, an artist, right? From New Jersey, he had his pump it, pump it up, but really where I thought he shined was on Slaughterhouse, when he signed with Eminem. One of the best MCs of all time, let's be straight up, has one of the best albums right now. He joined him, right? And then he was in the group with Crooked Eye from the West Coast, Joel Ortiz. Who else was on that? Um, don't want to leave nobody out, but that is what he was a part of, Joe Budden. People forget Joe Budden is an MC, an artist. He's not the favorite for everybody. But Cardi B went off on him for all the stuff he been saying about her for the last two years. She really they were on Twitter and I seen academics, I think, on there. Right? And she was talking about him in all types of ways, saying basically he's a crackhead, how he sniffs coke, bringing out all these biz all his business, right? Saying that why. He's been on her so much that he's something, like, bro, you always hating on something. You always hating on something. It, 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 it sets you apart from being a critic, a critic, a critic from a hater. That's why sometimes I, I, I sometimes value academics point of views because he would say mostly the truth than being a straight up hater. You'd be a hater. How you hating on a nigga got $400 million? Four hundred million dollars. I tore till I'm ninety, nigga. Something, you bro. About? You always hating on something. You always hating on something. It it, it it sets you apart from being a critic, a critic, a critic from a hater. That's why sometimes I I, I sometimes value academics' point of views because he would say mostly the truth. Than being a straight up hater, you be a hater. How you hating on a nigga got four hundred million dollars? Four hundred million dollars. I tore till I'm ninety, nigga. What you talking about? He's a hater. Joe Budden, the podcaster, talking about money. People he criticizes people who are making money. Let's be straight. I do my research. Joe Budden is making a lot of money just off of podcasting. He claims whatever, but for podcasting. The whole industry, he's at near the top of the game, even though academics is number one. That's how they put as content, whatever, podcasts, creators. Joe, uh, academics is number one. He's number two. That's still right there. So, yo, Cardi B went off saying that he never says anything good about her. Always criticizing her all the time. what he sees right and i you get you can't forget she was married or what i don't know if she's still married to offset from the migos and you have to remember i remember there was an interview i think bet right bet uh awards a couple years ago the migos was on there and waiting to interview them and he was basically rude to them disrespectful and from those times i don't think he felt even Offset, no one, whoever, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, she married Offset, Cardi B. So he wasn't going to be nice to you for the, the time when he, he didn't like how the Migos approached him or whatever went on, how vice versa. He wasn't going to be nice to you. So he criticized you. And now they're criticizing a lot of female hip hop, what's coming out. They're kind of it's, it's slut rap or whatever over because the low ticket sales at concerts for these these girls as much as they put it out there in the media that they're so attractive they're not really attractive if you're not having big ticket sales meg the stallion i think ice spice and or is it um what's her name again? sexy red low sick ticket sales sexy red low ticket sales so he could talk because that's what's going on. So Cardi B just went off on t on Twitter, man. Twitter spaces is where it is. Besides 
this platform, go on Twitter spaces. I think a lot of people are sleeping on Twitter spaces. The hip hop community, I could be straight up, is sleeping and it's perfect for the hip hop or urban community. There's so much communities on there, political communities, all different types of groups. But when it comes to the hip hop, man, I'm surprised as big as the X is, it doesn't have that. I see like a few and I'm on there, a few forums or whatever you want to call it people talking about artists the industry but cardi b had a lot of words for joe budden man you pissed her off for her for her thing her rant if you want to call it that to go viral she was going off on joe budden it's funny it's the artist versus the podcast it's the same. It's the same industry, in the, uh, entertainment industry, but it's the artist versus the journalists, and how she was saying that academics it wouldn't do what he does, and that basically saying academics is better, rubbing it in that academics became was number one in the rankings for podcasts, and he's he was number two. He said academics wouldn't ask me all of these type of things, giving academics roses making when she's mentioning that that's good <laughs> respect to academics other people may not like him but i respect him for his worth ethic he's always on here almost every day he has a stream talking about something media academics is always on here talking about media about hip-hop he was on drake's side right and respect to the people who are joining the live i'm from toronto so when you are checking for media regarding Drake or regarding what's going on here, like, for example, now the um, school boy, boy Q situation and you want a face, not a page, but a face. You got me, Sean Myrie. And we have the podcast with my brother, Rastafari Samurai, it's straight from the six. You're talking, you're watching somebody from the six.